Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas if you're still loading into the map. Apparently the solution is easy enough. Like I just need to go back to the overseer's office and activate a terminal over there and uh, that should unlock what I seek. Boss yeah, rifle. Yeah. yeah. Really? More fighting. Oh, well, this must be the terminal. Let's see. Okay, I don't know where they found that guy, but uh, that was the in the camera all around again. So system open armory door. There we go. Did I read the log? What was this journal? Data corrupted. Necessary for the survival of the war that we set limits on the growth of our population. Seal the door and post it constant the rise began. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Looks like this wasn't a good plan on their part. Uh, luckily, the boomers got out in time, I guess. Uh, let's just ditch the place. It's not very nice. We have no real business here. Except for getting radiation poisoning, and that's not actually a valid form of business. I don't think we could make any money on that. I don't think we can even make like ridiculous bonuses from that in this. Unlike in Fallout 3 where you were able to do some sort of stuff by being radiated. There we go. Uh, have a red X. Like, yeah, it doesn't buff. It does I mean, it does stack. There's the one. Hello, munitions. Munitions. Sunset Sarsaparilla are the biggest munitions we can find. Apparently, two crates of those are not even actually usable crates. Okay, uh. You just picked up a gun, what was it? Show me. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. You picked up the old American. I kinda want that for myself. Also, let's grab the sniper rifle, the submachine gun. Uh yeah, let's just pick up pick up everything. We can repair most of the shit. Uh I don't fine, pick up the security armor as well, and we'll just stick it in the box with everything else. Nice things go. Uh, missile launcher, sure. Uh, actually, I don't think I need another one at the moment. There's some sort of detonator. 40mm grenades, always appreciated. The salt carbines. Ammunition box. Minigun. Okay, that's we certainly didn't need. Ammunition uh, box. You know, more sunset sarsaparilla. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's work on the stuff we most certainly did not need. Okay, we can use an assault carbon to fix that up. Okay, we don't want the minigun. And we don't want the missile launcher because those are in really bad shape. So they're not actually going to be of any use. Uh, okay, you are 5000 when you're at full value. Assault carbine at full value. Yes, I anticipate less than a sniper rifle at full value, so... Oh, wait. I need to max out my All-American. There we go. Use the sniper, use the marksman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a marksman carbine. It may be useful. At some point or another. Grenade launches. Yeah, this... Let's be fair, I wasn't really expecting to be able to walk out of here. Well, run out of here, that's the correct one. We are walking out of here. That's a lie, we can like... Put half of the weapons on... Some of our minions. Those are some of the weapons are flying, that's nice. 
C4 plastic explosive, then a millimeter C4. Uh, the pulse gun. There we go. Huh. Figured it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the electronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. Is it? That's just bad. Okay, uh let's grab those as well and see if we can fix one set up. Wait, oh, that's health. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's actually pretty good. That's, we're not in too much trouble now, are we? The answer is we are in too much trouble. Okay, we can also repair up one Volt 34 jumpsuit, I think. Then use the Volt 3s because those are not less damaged. And then we can fix up. We can partially fix up a helmet. We could probably find a bonnet or something. Or what was it? Uh, however it's pronounced. I don't know. Oh, well, we caught what we needed. And we also have like a ton of weapons that we're not going to be able to carry out of here. Uh, I'm gonna assume that 10 mm submachine guns are more valuable than the pistols. So that's the plan we're going by. Destroy the pistols to make submachine guns. How expensive are they at full value? Well, pretty good actually. Okay, yeah, that, that's a valid plan. It's a perfect valid plan. We can't make too many of them, but you know, it's still pretty good. That's gonna be pretty beneficial. Uh, also, how's my mercenary grenade rifle doing? Grenade launcher even. Uh, just give it a little bit of repairs. No harm there. Okay, which one of you causes more damage? This one does. It's also lighter. And has no skill requirements, so why should I use a different one? I don't know. Uh, how's my katana doing? Uh, need some repairs. And I'm over. Done and done. Cyber Vive is fine. Okay, everything else is fine. Daniel's head is at full health. Graham's armor is gonna use jumpsuit. And we're ready to roll. Excellent. Uh, this does mean we're actually concluding our business in this damn hellhole and we can go back to. Why aren't you in ever joining us on these adventures, EB? You're just doing sensor jobs. At the front of areas. Like, you're not even following us into the, here. They didn't give him the weight order either, otherwise he wouldn't even be following us these areas. Also, let's take a look at the All-American. Look at it. Oh, it isn't as silly looking as I expected. Let's just take a look in first person. Yeah, that's not too bad. Still. I've got this for shit. I also have no sense of direction, but that's fine because those are new things. Uh, oh, I can clear one of those further. Um, okay. I have no idea where you found these people from, but uh, I don't really. I'm not really complaining. Just confused. Also, apparently we need to kill some folks with... Uh, oh. But this is a doorway I surely did not explore. Didn't come from here, did they? Oh, may have explored it. Alright. Uh, I need to kill robots with the lead pipe. That's something that needs to be... That needs to happen. The problem is finding the robots for it and not having my party destroy them. It might still be something for when I do things my way, you know, as, as a casual game playthrough. Might be worth the effort. 
Uh, a friend of mine is really working hard and uh, perfect in this game. He only needs six more achievements. Two of which I don't think he can get because uh, Caravan appears to be bugged on, for many people. Myself included, as we saw from the first episode. Or was it the second episode? Uh, either way, I wasn't able to play Caravan. Things just went really, really weird. Instead of working perfectly well. Okay, let's travel to good friends in Eden Valley. No, oh, no. Well. Red X is a one off. And we have radiation poison, but I'm gonna ask a doctor to look at it. That'll be enough. Okay, there, there's our bunker. Let's head straight to it. We're almost level 30. Nice, that was the vanilla level cap, I believe. So it's a good thing. I'm not playing vanilla. But let's be fair, uh, I got a lot of levels in the. the. no, honest hearts area. A lot of levels. That was quite a few. I don't know what to do next. Like, we have forged. the beginnings for a piece. Cool. Do you call me an outsider? Harden is a tough man, but fair. I follow him into battle any day. No doubt. Okay. How may I assist you? Uh, can you take? Hello. Can I get rid of my radiation? Yes. Uh, can you hear my radiation? We always make sure to keep an ample supply of rad away. Most of us haven't had the exposure outsiders like you take for granted. Thank you. Here we go. You'll be rad free in no time. Nifty. Completely rat free. For just 100 caps. How's he doing? Hi there. Looking to spend some caps? Uh, sure. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Thank you. You do have quite a few bits available. Alright, I think this will do. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Maybe she should roll some decent equipment as well, but the first, Veronica. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Mm, not at all. Why would you say such a thing? I'm actually trying to upgrade your armor, I think. Well, you could call it an upgrade. I think. It's more of a switcheroo. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? It is heavy, I admit, but... You don't get the agility penalty anymore. Look at the bright side. There we go. That's a different look for you, but... Uh, uh, well, I'm not sure if that was wise. Anyway, she, she, she'll be fine. Alright, we did actually come here for a reason. So... No simply leaving the entire facility just because I got some new armor for Veronica. That does not look exactly as good as I imagined, so yeah. I have a boss rifle. Or boss gun. Uh, Veronica, you step in first. Veronica, I hope... I brought you a present. This disc has secrets to breeding plants that can thrive in the wasteland. High Elder Maxon didn't found us to be botanists, Veronica. Think about it. No more trading guns for food. Total self-sufficiency. It's what we always wanted. This won't get us Hoover Dam. Yes, it will. If we feed people, they'll support us. They'll join us. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. Come on, uh, we could have... Uh, brought a boss rifle. I thought we were doing the boss rifle thing. Oh, fine. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? There was never any chance his made, mind was made up from the start. I see that now. 
I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Would someone else listen to you? It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. You should take over. Huh. Well, that's imaginative. But it's not really for me. I couldn't get one of their most reasonable members to accept a rational argument. I don't see them coming out in droves to support my coup. And that's really not what the Brotherhood needs right now, anyway. They're hanging by a thread. Where does, where does that leave you? I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. This is your home and these are your friends. You should stay. They may be a bunch of wooden conformists, but anything I did without them would feel empty. I'd always be reminded of this day, how I wasn't strong enough to stand by them. So, I guess I'll stay. Won't be easy, but at least I won't feel guilty about the choice. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this, and some fresh air would do me some good, right about now. All right, let's go out. Ah, <sighs> mm. yeah. The boss kind of wouldn't have voted as an argument either. Neither would have the Archimedes uh, super weapon. You would expect the super weapon would help, but nope. Nope. Also free ammo. Nice. So glad we have free ammo for everything. Such freedom in our ammunition. Such freedom. Oh, well, let's just head out on inside. Hello. 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 Alright, but, um... And if you want to speak, we heard Veronica talking with the elder. We won't stand for this. Uh, <laughs> ideals are strengthened by the challenges they endure. Veronica's questioning did your service. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. I know, I know. You guys are just asses. God. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. First thing to go is trust. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Are you still going to travel with me? Yeah. I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while to see things through with you. All right, let's get out of here. Good idea. Oh yeah, you get armor. Nice. Uh, there's so many enemy markers around. Okay, where do we want to go next then? I would appreciate the idea of actually making it to Camp McCarran. Like finally. Let's try that. Oh well. This is a group with the doors, so. Rex gets to have all the real fun there. That's okay. Rex deserves to have some fun on occasion, especially when I'm not actually hunting for or anything in the ways of trying to get uh, a challenge done or something. I really should just uh, decide that that is not something I should try to do while. Traveling with a bloody army. This won't work. Okay, uh, Rex, how did you even get up there? Or was that the first one to die? That was probably the first one to die. But I still don't know how to get up there. That's fine. Camp McCarran should be right over on that side somewhere. Right? Straight over this bridge, was it? I think it may have been. 
This does look like Captain Karen. Oh, there's the entrance. Okay, this is all good now. Yo. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Then we don't really... Ah, okay. That's the El Rey Motel. Never been inside the place. Don't really know what it's like. I'm still going to walk right past it instead of investigating. Oh, well, let's head to the camp proper. Macca Ranfield. Macca Ranfield. There we go. Welcome to Macca Ranfield. Some of Poon's friends live here, I think. We can see about uh, looking how they react to seeing each other again. This, despite the fact that he's not currently wearing his red beret. I think they'll still be uh, pleasantly surprised to see him. Anyone need any medical assistance? Nope. Where did they... Where were they? I don't remember. That was one of the bigger tents. The kings back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. The rain I hear you took care of Motor Runner. I could have handled that on my own. Oh, you were in. I hear you took. Care oh, of yeah, he was the one who set up the traps over there. If I hadn't killed the Motor Runner first, he would have asked me to kill him. But oh, there you guys are. A first recon guy looking after me. You are a first recon guy. I heard you killed Driver Nafai. My team would have liked to get a shot at him, but we're still glad he's dead. Uh, does the NCR usually offer bounties on people? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. They're about first recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her. But I'd rather she get medical help. Uh, I can talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. What happened to Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to First Recon. They're in both first recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Yes, yeah, you told me that much. Okay. Carry on. So why was it like a new buffer? Never seen you around before. What do you want? Uh. You're a sniper? What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? I actually didn't notice that until until just now. Ha! <laughs> You're not as dumb as I thought you'd be. We got the same sense of humor. Probably better to walk away while I still like you, though. All kinds of things piss me off. Like, just about anything that anybody says. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, you should get medical help for a trauma. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it! You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? And mental trauma can slow you down or distract you, but it's treatable, just like any bullet wound. Just another injury to take care of, huh? Well, when you put it that way. All right. You can tell the lieutenant I finally caved. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Yep. See ya. Yeah. Try not to get killed. I'm immortal. I mean, I have, like, an army. Oh, are you going to go and talk to Boone? 
Nope, it's just going to walk past Boon like trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You're going to talk to Veronica instead. Nice. What can I do for you? I can make Scorpor best to get help from Dr. Rosanagi. I wish someone with your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what you said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. You settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Yeah, sure. Carry on. Also, where's the other one that I need to talk to? Just Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. You are a first recon guy. Uh, Corporal Sterling. Howdy. Name Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. Uh, you remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks, and such too. Comes with practice, that's all, and a lot of scouting from place to place. An interesting rifle you have there, liberation right? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gore Betts reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I could hit my targets. Have you always been with the first recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why did you leave the rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. How did you manage to escape Malpe? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. How long have you been stationed here? Going on six months now. But I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. All right, see ya. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. You too. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. You are a first recon guy. Okay, uh, the... Got a second to talk, boss? Sure. What's in your mind? Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, it kind of got me thinking. Here's a guy that's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service. But instead, he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? The Dancy are put a lot of time and money into his training. He owes it to them to use it however he can. Even if he can't use it anymore? Isn't that like asking you to come up with one of your brilliant schemes after suffering a crippling head wound? Oh, another one, I mean? Why do you get the impression this is more personal to you? I guess it reminds me of my own life. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejada. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody, but I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. Go on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. And then? About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. 
They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelled the smoke. And I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else. My parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters all died. And then? Rafaela and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. Are you blaming yourself for this? Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for all my skills with a pistol, I couldn't help them. Anyway, that was weighing on my mind. Thanks for letting me get it out in the open, boss. Yeah, no problem. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't.